Actually, I have never participated in media platforms due to the very difficult situation we were in. Everyone knows that my husband's sentence in prison has finished since 13 months ago. Unfortunately, he was forcibly disappeared for 14 months before, and we were all waiting for the day that he would be set free. And it has a huge impact up till today, and we haven't trespassed it until today. Uh, its impact on me, uh, on the children, we were waiting for him anxiously and the last communication was in October 2023 2022 I tried to uh, contact the administration of the prison of course in October 2022 a man has uh, responded to me and he was very angry I told him that uh, my husband hasn't contacted me lately, so he said angry to me. I have the director of the prison in front of me, and he went to check the status of this man. So actually, I was afraid, and I feared what happened. And he said he would get back to me, and up till today, no official administration have responded to me so i didn't only contact the administration of the prison i also uh, contacted the uh, security forces the national security the human rights organization represented by mrs hala the uh, king salman the prince crown the uh, prince of riyadh i have tried to contact everyone I've addressed everyone. I have knocked every door available. I said perhaps they didn't receive my message. So I took another step. I sent, I sent a letter for the uh, permanent commission at the United Nations for the Saudi Arabia. It was in January 2023. Then I took another step. I contacted the embassy and I sent them emails, but with no results. In May, my son took all copies of the letters in which we contacted the administration of the prisons, the national security, the uh, Emirates of Riyadh, even the letters sent to the king. He took them to the embassy and handed them personally. However, we received no reply about what's the destiny, what's the fate of my husband. He's been forcibly disappeared since 14 months. We have no idea what to do. Probably you have seen the video. My son, who was... Uh, providing the petition and the letters for the embassy. Unfortunately, they will cut him very badly. They lied to the uh, Swedish uh, police and they said that there is a strike. And when the police came and checked what happened, they shut the door in front of my son, but he was able to enter with accompanied by the Swedish police. So if the officers or those in charge don't know their actual obligations and work faithful, faithfully, so what are we supposed to expect? I didn't only speak to those in charge. I talked to every single administration headed by King Salman Abdulaziz and the Prince of Crown. So we have no idea what else we can do to set my husband free. Supposedly, we should have my husband with us today. In November 2023, he should have been set free. We also arranged or prepared ourselves mentally and psychologically on how to deal with this and 
then he was forcibly disappeared. This is a very strange, I really don't know how to describe it. It's very difficult for us as a family and as a mother. Excuse me for being emotional, but it's very difficult. I've never imagined that my own country that it plays really ugly roles as it's doing. Who are they and why they are doing that? My husband is no criminal. He is um, a doctor in economics and the diplomatic institute. There's no excuse, absolutely. It's tyranny, it's lies, it's falsification. I have no idea what to further say when you as if, if my daughter asks me where's my father i i don't know what to tell her i, I try to explain to her that it's a very difficult situation long journey but he is their father at the end and he's my husband he's been treated for 10 years in a very ugly way and then at the end he was forcibly disappeared during this last 14 months i came to believe that it, he was forcibly disappeared systematic wise and everyone was telling me to remain silent why would I remain silent they really provoked me they told me just to remain silent probably you will have the chance to uh, raise your children so they actually threatened me with the lives of my children what what the situation of the people who live inside if I was threatened and I'm living outside Saudi Arabia, they didn't even respect this fact. I was threatened while I was in the USA. I really apologize because I became a little bit emotional, but the situation is very difficult. The tyranny is very ugly and I really have no excuses for it. And unfortunately, that we have tried to contact every single official, but we didn't receive any response. And unfortunately, I'm saying that even the human rights organization, uh, uh, Mrs. Hala Atwajri, uh, we sent her a letter, we didn't receive any reply. So you claim, or they claim that they follow the laws and the regulations how would I excuse you for leaving a person who spent his sentence years and he should be set free, which is against all international laws? Why is this human rights violation being? I really, I'm speechless. I don't have the exact terms to express the very awful situation we're going through. Because it's very difficult, especially that, that my husband has been forcibly disappeared in this way. I remembered all of the 10 years which we have lived through. I thought that I was supporting him. But uh, it appeared that in this year where he wasn't with us, he was our true supporter. He was the one who was making us strong and who was motivating us to go forward and to live our lives. This year was pretty difficult for us as a family. I really apologize. I, wa I wanted to participate today to ask, is there any solution for the situation that we are living? Is any official hearing and checking this human rights, great human rights, which is happening? And probably he would say, maybe we can find a solution. Unfortunately, there is no official uh, authority which is telling us your husband is doing okay or allowing him to communicate with us so how would i know if he is alive or dead he has been disappearing for over a year 
they claim that they are following the regulations under what law you can justify this action we contact you no man response just imagine the many calls that we have done to the officials they are very tragic i also spoke to the night shift and the reformer or the rehabilitation center and uh, we were told that he was transferred but where to they say we don't know was he transferred to the hospital because there was like an incident in uh, 10th of october before two weeks my husband filed a complaint because one of the psychological uh, patients with him were actually harassing him. And in order to get when one information about what happened with him afterwards, I tried to make several calls and I don't get any response. But in October, 17th or 17th of October, my husband didn't call me in 2022. It was late from calling me like two hours before my daughter Layla leaves to school. He, he used to call. And I asked him when he called that Layla has left. He told me that the public prosecution have visited me and have uh, took the complaint. But after a couple of days, he was forcibly disappeared. So we have no idea what actually happened. If there are any yeah, honest Saudi human rights organizations to look into this case and to have an actual administration and actual law which is being followed. We want to know what procedures, what measures we can follow. I think we have tried all of the means and we are trying to contact the embassies. Try to try to because we think that the doors are shut in our faces. 